Yeah, this is just. I'm pretty sure the world is ending out there, so we'll just we'll just stay down here where it's safe. It's the journey of Jim. Hello, welcome to Journey of Jim. I'm Jim. I'm going to be playing a little bit of Subnautica Below Zero today. Uh, it's a survival game set under the ocean. The purpose is to collect resources and to open up pathways to develop new technologies to allow you to better survive, better explore different locations, different biomes, to get deeper under the ocean by finding rarer and rarer resources. And all the while uncovering new areas which are filled with terrifying sea creatures and sea monsters that pretty much all want to eat you. So. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to start a new game, Survival. This is the farthest that I could take you on company space box, Robin. Space box. The research is in everything. Sci-fi equivalent of Monopoly money. And Sam, I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Oh, so we're going to launch right in the middle of a meteor storm. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, it seems pretty solid, right? As an idea. Jump out of a perfectly good spaceship into a meteor storm. Speed. Surface temperature. This seems to be like surfing on a meteor. Oh, that went, well. that went badly. Nobody is surprised. Okay. Well, we're alive. That's a good start. She strikes me as an act first, think later kind of protagonist, so... Okay. And we're out. We still appear to be in the middle of a meteor storm. Enjoy your stay. Oh, so that explodes. So what do we got? We've got uh, health, we've got hunger, thirst, oxygen, and now temperature. That's new. Ooh, that looks like something that's landing. I'm sure we'll find that in a little while. Um, what happens if I get close to... Ah, okay, so fire makes you warm. Good use of physics, guys. Let's go find some stuff. We've got flare, and flare. What's around here? Oh, some funky looking mushroom plants. Uh, ooh, water. Yeah. Protagonist of this game is thirsty. And we'll need a steady supply of refreshments. We've got some food there as well and a uh, nutrient bar, I think they call it. What is it? What is it? There's one here. Uh, nutrient block. Got some uh, portable food stuffs that we can take with us. Let's run. And some more flares, another nutrient block, a thing in here, nope, oh, it's frozen. Uh, not surely, <laughs> she was very casually just walking around like, she's just being mortar fire from hell coming from the sky. It's like doop doop doop, let's just have a little stroll. Okay, oh we're getting cold. Hello Mr. Plant. Made it to four, five, four, six, pretty. Oh that makes me warm. A bit rough, but I don't a think I'll bit rough. I hid from their satellite. The drop pod deployed with gusto. I just have to find right. it and get settled. Then I'll be able to get to work. Yeah. Okay, well it's good to know that these plants make me warm. That is a good thing. Bugger off, I don't need a flare. Uh, two. So I will pick that up. Ah! Jesus, this looks dangerous. Wow. This is just... I mean, is this the end of this world? Have we chosen the exact wrong moment to come here? Okay. Well, here we go. Ready to take the plunge? Let's do this thing. I'm so pretty. And apparently being in water is perfectly warm. A 
bladder fish. A creepy looking thing. They're very handy, you can uh, make water out of them. I'm not entirely sure how that works if you just squeeze it into a bottle. But it does provide a good source of moisture and hydration. So I just broken up some stone there. There are resources within. We will need all of those to survive. Oxygen. Oh, and you will need oxygen to survive because oxygen is important. So breathing. Must remember to breathe. I will probably forget that multiple times throughout this playthrough. And boomerang. I want a boomerang. Just holding it. Let's get some stuff. Some quartz. Now I believe I have a... Yep, there it is. A little, little base of operations that I can use. It's so pretty. It's very peaceful as well. There's a real noticeable difference in the sound when you go into water. What are you? You're a penguin. Oh, you're so cool. Hi. Where do you go? Oh, and you hang out on the... Can I jump? Yeah, yeah, I can. Hi, little buddy. Hi. Oh, you got ears? That's that's gross. Hi, guys. You little kitties. I can pick it up. Do you get mad? Oh, oh no. no. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. What are you? You're another pingling. Pretty, pretty, pretty adorable, I gotta say. Okay. Back we go. Okay there. It's okay, I wasn't really trying to steal your children. Oh, okay, I'll just let them have a moment. Uh, oh, that's another thing. What are you? You're a bit faster than I am right now, so... Oh, that looks like... Ribbon plant. Electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Okay. Okay. That sounds useful. It's not very pleasant up here, is it? Let's stay under the water. Okay. And there it is. Home sweet home. Oh, I'm so slow. Swim faster. Right. Found the drop pod. So we have a drop pod. Yeah, awesome. Sorry about your sister. Tab. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. Oh, that's very sad. I got to know Sam better toward the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B when we were thrown together as base mates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you, and I'll admit, as a fellow xenobiologist, I've been familiar with your work and always hoped we might cross paths. I heard about the Xeno Works acquisition, and I don't want to trouble you more. I know you must be dealing with a lot right now, but I thought you should know. It didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha you, I, you, I met was many things, cautious, naive, optimistic, kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. In my time on 4546B, I also experienced what seems in retrospect like interference into my own investigations into architect activity on the planet. Architect. I wonder what that is, architect. I wish you could offer I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off since Altera terminated my contract. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I wish you all the best in your work. Lillian Bench. All right, I'm probably not going to read all of these things, because who has the time? But uh, it does give us a little bit of uh, background. So, yeah, let's get on with it. Let's, let's, well, let's Sam, do some things. I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. I hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. Yeah. I don't need all of these flares. We can stash some of those. I've got some fish. I've got some resources. We'll stash those for now. I don't need those. And okay. So I can create things using this Star Trek style fabricator. 
I'm going to first of all make some water out of this bladder fish. Don't ask. Fish becomes plastic bottle. I mean, what else is there to know? And I'm going to cook this boomerang. So first things first, I'm hungry. So I'm going to eat my boomerang and drink my water. So down here you'll see I still need some food, so I will do that at some point. So those ribbon plants will allow me to make a battery. I just need some copper. I have some copper. Let's make a battery. Batteries are useful for things. What else do I need? I mean, first and foremost, I think I need to increase my ability to stay underwater and to move. So I can create an O2 tank. I need titanium, which I have, and fiber mesh. Fiber mesh. So I need a creep vine sample. Now, if memory serves me correctly, yes, I need a survival knife to cut that creep vine. So I need silicon rubber. Creep vine seed clusters. Let's go farming. It's very cool. There is a day-night cycle, and nighttime is thoroughly terrifying. Um, I'm get another one of you. I will need water. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. There we go, bladder fish. 24 seconds of oxygen. And a hoop fish. Hoop, hoop, hoop. Let's have a look at the hoop fish. Oh, they don't, none of them look very happy, do they? To have been plucked. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening out here? This is just I'm pretty sure the world is ending out there, so we'll just we'll just stay down here where it's safe. Ooh, what are you? Come here, come here, come here. New creature. Arctic peeper. The peeper was kind of the mascot of the first game. And these glowing red postule-like things are creep vine clusters. So we'll get, we'll get a couple of those New so we don't have to come back. Okay. Lubricant. What's in there? Oh, more battery stuff. Yeah, let's get let's get one of those and one of those. Should be able to use this. Should be able to use that, yes. Well, titanium is your primary building component, so I would be surprised if you don't use it. Man, I'm really digging how good this game looks. I mean, sure, there are games that are graphically more impressive, but just the colours and just the atmosphere, it's it all comes together to create this very, very cool, very cool product. Who are you? Sea glide fragment. So we will. That's a kind of a mobile device. Helps you move faster. To, oh, there's another one. Uh, in order to get that, we're going to need a scanner. I can't remember what we need to get the scanner, but we will, we will get one of those soon, I am sure. Do, 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 and back to base. Minerals galore. Nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantus Five. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that, though. Okay, so Robin's a bit of a badass, it would seem. She's going to need to be to survive on this planet, from what I remember. Okay, so uh, let's let's do things with the food that we have. So we've got some more water. And we'll cook up our uh, Arctic peeper. Our hoop fish. Hoop. There it is. Hoop. And I got another water. Before we die, let's eat some fish. Mmm. She seems to enjoy that a little bit too much, I think. 
Um, okay, so now we can make silicon rubber. Let's get a couple of those. Let's make some lubricants as well, just to just to have a stash. I can make fins. So I make fins with two. Yay! Movement speed increases. Finally, some speed. There we go. And I need a kniff. Stubby, stubby kniff. Right now we have the kniff. And go back to the creepy vines. Creepvine. New blueprint synthesized. Okay, let me get one of these. What do I think? Oh god, no, 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 the oxygen. Always with the oxygen. Oxygen! Oxygen! oxygen. I mean, yeah. Don't feel too confident in the prospects of the future of this planet right now. I mean, it looks like it's seen better days. Fiber mesh. Oh, I'm excited. <gasps> Breathable air. New blueprints to your data bank. New blueprints synthesized. There we go. Uh, I don't know what I'd do with those. Just eat them. The standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. Okay. Deluxe and VIP breathing. How does that work? I uh, see so you've chosen the deluxe package to breathe today, sir. Congratulations. Oh, VIP, very important. We get this delicious bottled air to breathe. Uh, okay, so now I've got those, I can breathe a little longer, and I can move a little faster. Oh, delicious movement speed. Let's just gather some resources, shall we? Oops, oh no, that's not one. Some titanium, some lead, copper. Titanium is your basic building material. Copper is used in most things that involve electronics. Um, sometimes quartz as well. Quartz is used to make glass. Lead, uh, used for base building, I think. Uh, it's a pretty common element. Oxygen. Oxygen. I'm going to hear that a lot, I feel, in this playthrough. Oxygen. Oxygen. You need more oxygen. You are drowning. You need oxygen. Cook up this poor hoop fish. Is there anything else that I need to make? Survival life. Air bladder. I definitely need one of those. And a scanner. Okay, so let's make an air bladder. So we need silicon rubber, bladder fish, and oh, we have some titanium. I can make a scanning tool. So a scanning tool allows me right, to scan objects that I find in the world and then use the blueprint from that I get from that to um oh there's a piece of the sea glide so what so i scan this and then it works towards a blueprint so that i can actually build one myself oh i need one of you bladder fish bladder fish come, come here bladder fish okay so what i need is i need to find more pieces of that sea glide so that i can make myself a sea glide and once i can make a sea glide then I can move much more quickly through the world. Uh, I think that's a piece over there. Because as you can see, my swim speed sucks. I think that's another piece right there. I do believe it may just be. Huzzah! I can make a sea glide. So, and as you unlock these these tools, these pieces of equipment, it just makes you more able to explore the environment. And eventually, you need to go down into the depths. 
uh, which requires very specialized equipment. And then each biome that you get access to has more rare materials, which then allows you to make better technology, which allows you to make, you know, be able to access more areas. So, what do I need in order to make a sea glide? Oh man, I need all kinds of stuff. I need lubricant, copper wire, a battery. I think I can make all that stuff right now. So I have lubricant. I can make copper wire with that. I can make a battery. Oh, I'm going to need more copper. Oh, I will need a compass as well. Copper wire. Need more copper. Let's go find some. And I mean, you got to admit, it's not the worst environment to spend time and resource gathering. It's very relaxing. It's just like, oh, it's pretty. Admittedly, later, there's, you know, running and screaming. But for now, it's pretty stress-free, apart from the constant threat of drowning. That's some copper. Some more copper, titanium, some battery stuff. Ah, copper. Thirty seconds of oxygen. Thirty seconds is loads, he says. It's one of those typical famous last word statements before somebody drowns. I've got loads of time. Here in the shallows. Right, so I can make a battery. Which allows me to make a sea glide. The sea glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. Yeah, it does. Okay, so there's a couple of other things that I need. Uh, I will need silver to make a wiring kit, I think. Yes. I haven't seen any silver just yet. What, was it? what else was I making? Oh, I wanted to make a um, one of those. I need silicon rubber. Do I have any left? Yes. Let's make one of those. Because that will allow me to... If you are tired of hearing the word oxygen, the air bladder provides a significant upward thrust to help you get to air faster. Oxygen. Yeah, I'm always tired of hearing the word oxygen. I will make myself some additional storage. Because we're going to need to store a lot of things during this playthrough and I'll just put this outside so and just deploy there it is no okay uh, essentially what we're left with is just the essentials Old cooked. Oh. Oh, I need to. I need to eat that before it goes bad. There we go. Oxygen. Alright, so I am going to go and try and find some silver so that I can make my compass. And we'll go from there. Watch this. Da 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 da. How do I get rid of the map? I don't want that there. Oh, now we are moving penguin things. Probably still haven't forgiven me for kidnapping one of their children. What are you? Oh wow. Can I, uh, can I scan this thing? Frost anemone. What do I do? Do I. Can I cut a bit? Oh, I can collect it. What are you? What was that thing that was coming after me right then? You. I don't like you. Oh, oh my god. What did you just do to me? I can't move. Come on, come on. Come on. 30 seconds of oxygen here, dude. There we go. Wait. We are out of here. I'm not messing with those things anymore. 
tell you, this game, man, is always full of surprises. Use quartz. Ooh, we'll pick up some salt. Uh, that way we can... Oh, no, I am not messing with you. That way we can uh, preserve some of the fish that we find and eat it later so it doesn't go bad. Which is always nice. Just, you know, checking out the surroundings, checking out the neighborhoods, seeing, seeing what we're up against, see where we are. Oh, hello. What is this? Oh, is this what? Silver and gold. Well, that's handy. Uh, more sea glide fragments. We already have that. Oxygen. Yay. Cool. Well, we're off to a good start. We've got some good equipment. We've got some good resources. What is in here? I'm going to make a spare battery because I'm guessing this thing is going to run through power pretty fast. Some quartz right here. It may seem like I know what I'm doing with this game and in a way that I do because I played the first game and a lot of those same principles have carried over in terms of the resource gathering, in terms of the kind of equipment that you need in the early game. But there's going to come a point fairly early on, I imagine, where my knowledge from the first game is going to just become redundant because it's going to throw all kinds of weird new challenges at me that I'm not really ready for. It's food. Wow. What happens when I eat one? It's full of water. I don't know if I appreciate that noise that she makes. Mm. That's cool. So we have additional food and water sources. Great stuff. All going very, very well. I'm going to go and catch a fish though, just so I can show you. Uh, oh, that was easy. Um, I can show you how to. So there's our cooked food, but we can also cure food. So I've got my Arctic peeper and my salt. And that then becomes a sustainable food source that I can take with me and keep in my inventory without it going bad. So I'll make some water out of that poor, poor unsuspecting bladderfish, and we're good. Uh, so to get my compass, I need copper wire, and I need a wiring kit. There we go. Okay, and I should. Here we go. I've now got a compass bearing, which you'd be amazed how useful that is. When you're underwater, very difficult to tell <laughs> which direction that you're going in. So, okay, well, we're pretty tooled up. I, I'm going to want a repair tool, just. And I, I don't really need a flashlight because my sea glide has a light. My scanner was the really important thing there. Uh, but I am going to make a spare battery to carry with me. And then I'm going to stash some of these resources, silver, one of those waters. So I've got flare, food, water, all my equipment ready to go. Time to go exploring. We'd like to see what's going on with all these twisty arms. I'm really hoping they don't belong to some dormant sleeping leviathan octopus thing that would that would be really upsetting <laughs> if it just came alive all of a sudden and uh, started eating me we will find more equipment to scan in the world as we go i just like the idea of having a little nosy around and see uh, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Oh, I think that this, yep, will give me some oxygen. That's nice of it. And then we're going to go beacon fragment. Beacons are very helpful New for synthesized. just kind of letting it. 
30 seconds of oxygen right, remaining. Um, up. Up. <gasps> Run back down. Oh, wait, I'll scan some more things. What's in here? Oh, some disinfected water. Anything else? Nope. Well, that was going to happen for more, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Anytime you see like something that takes you deeper, you really have to calculate. Am I able to go down there and get back up again with the amount of oxygen that I have? And the answer isn't always yes. And there sometimes are creatures that jump out at you with all of the teeth. Thanks, I'm going to steal your oxygen. Thank you. Oh God. It does look so very cool. Oof. Oh, okay. There's a thing down there. Let's go. Uh, oh God, I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it. Warning. Parsing 100 meters. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's uh, let's go up, shall we? Woo! -hoo! Yay! What is that? What's that sound? I'm gonna go back to my head. Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. 200 meters. I'm at 30 meters right now, so it's a little bit deeper than I've gone yet. Well, I guess we will need to find the source of that transmission at some point. Uh, Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen so I got you, boo. I got you. What is this? What is this? Sea monkey nest. That's weird. Let's get the hell out of here, shall we? 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I don't know what this thing is. What are you? Uh oh. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Don't like anything that decides it wants to be my friend or is now coming oxygen. after me. Yep, 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 yep. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. That sounds like a distress call. What sounds like a distress call? Well, apparently the voice actor didn't want to finish the script in that particular scene. If I investigate, I'll use caution. I don't see Robin as being somebody who uses a great deal of caution. <laughs> she strikes me as a jump two feet first into the media shower kind of uh, an individual. So I think we'll leave it there for today. We've, uh, we've really made some progress. We've landed. We've made it into the ocean. We've found our little uh, underwater base a temporary though it may be. We've started gathering some resources, we've got some equipment, we've got our sea glide that gives us mobility, we've got some extra oxygen, and we've got some fins. We're rocking and rolling. Cooking with gas, as I used to say as I was growing up. So uh, that will be the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching, very much appreciate it. This has been Journey of Jim, I'm Jim, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks very much.